Okay, guys, I'm um, I figured I'd go ahead and give you my wall review. Don't expect live reactions up because they're not up. Haven't been on this channel in a while. I haven't been on YouTube in a while because I've been very busy. There was no SmackDown review, so I'm gonna do the best I can to talk about everything in fifth less than 15 minutes. So I'm gonna do what I usually do: talk about the least important things, then move on to the important things. Uh, Lost Manager was without Tweeko defeated Drew McIntyre and Heath Slater with Jinder Mahal. Nothing new there. Uh, let's see. Okay. Mm uh, Fandango defeated Santino, so that's not important. Now I can talk about point stuff. I want to talk about the Ryback, CM Punk, Paul Heyman feud. Uh, Paul Heyman wanted to choose a stipulation, so he, and he wanted to be CM Punk versus Ryback and Curtis Axel. However, that did not happen. Uh, Brad, well, Brad Maddox said it could happen if uh, if they if Ryback beats the clock and CM Punk beats the clock, Ryback's opponent was going to be Our Truth, and uh, CM Punk's opponent was going to be Curtis Axel. Now, Ryback versus Our Truth in the Beat the Clock Challenge. Um, our truth tried to buy time because he's buddies with Punk now, and uh, he wanted, and he just kind of ran around the wind for a little bit. Ryback was able to dominate, but our truth kept kicking out. Our truth started to come back with drop kicks, um, but Ryback ended up getting the win with the shell shock, and Ryback beat him in like it was like five minutes and uh, forty five seconds. Um, so that was the time Punk had to beat. So then Punk's opponent was Curtis Axel. Uh, he beat Curtis Axel with 12 seconds to spare. It was actually a pretty good match. Curtis Axel got a lot of offense in. The clothesline move, the um, neck breaker, and the perfect plex. Punk though, did win the match by the go to sleep. Um, and he, he chose the match stipulation to be CM Punk versus Ryback and Paul Heyman inside Hell in a Cell. That actually was a pretty smart by uh, Punk, um, and now maybe it's gonna make Ryback and Punk a little bit more interesting. Um, it's kind of weird though. A year ago, they had a Hell in a Cell match, and Punk was the heel with Paul Heyman, and Ryback was the babyface. Now Ryback's the heel with Paul Heyman, and CM Punk's the babyface. So, and uh, it's gonna be Paul Heyman's first appearance inside Hell in a Cell. Let's see how he does. He probably won't do good though. Um, I'm gonna talk about. Oh, and uh. Uh, I forgot to mention that the Wheel of Americans with Zeb Coulter defeated tons of Funk with the Funkadactyls. It looks like they're trying to build them up and try to have them win a lot of matches so they can feel what the Lost Matter was. Um, cause it looks, cause Zeb Coulter kind of talked them down in a little video screen that they do, so it looks like that might be what's gonna happen. Um, they did a Goldberg DVD ad, they did a lot of ad advertisements like WWE.com. I forgot to mention that this was for... Um, October 14, 2013, we have JBL, Michael Cole, and Jerry the Kim Law on commentary. I'll talk about the WWE Championship feud. We have Shawn Michaels coming out. He says that he is going to call the match down the middle. Um, he also, yeah, no matter how much he hates Randy Orton, no matter that, how much he trained Daniel Bryan, no matter how much, how much good friends he is with Triple H, he's going to call the match right down the middle. It's not about me. And he said that, uh, he's going to, um, Make sure, no matter what happens, he's, he's going to make sure that there is a new WWE Champion. Randy Orton comes out and says that Shawn Michaels was jealous because, um, he's going to, um, Randy, because Daniel, because, uh, Shawn, Randy Orton was always a little bit better than Shawn Michaels. Uh, Shawn Michaels says he needs to worry about Daniel Bryan, but Randy Orton says, um, I don't need to worry about Daniel Bryan because I'm going to destroy Daniel Bryan inside Hell in a Cell. I'm going to hurt him and he's not going to be able to walk ever again. Um, then, um, then, and then, uh, Randy Orton tries to RK KO Shawn Michaels, but he, he, so Michaels counters and he went for the sweet chin music. Orton rolled out of the ring. The Miz attacked Orton from behind because they're scheduled to have a match later. And, uh, it's kind of what uh, Miz, Orton did to Miz in his hometown. Um, same thing here because they were in Orton's hometown and he didn't really get much cheers. Especially after they, he called, he said that all people from St. Louis aren't all that bright. That kind of probably uh, pissed the fans off. And then um, they have the match. They didn't have a bad match. Uh, Miz went for the figure. Four. Well, I think he got it in, but uh, um, and but then. Um, the Wyatt family came out, and uh, Miz was distracted. Orton hits the RKO for the win, and then uh, 
Bray Wyatt talks about how like Miz is at something about Miz's fame. He kind of cuts one of those weird promos on Miz. Um, and that was the match. And then uh, they did like a Daniel Bryan thing. Uh, Triple H. Uh, they talk about the Big Show thing, and Triple H says that like he doesn't want people chant yes anymore. And Daniel Bryan tried to come out, but he got attacked by Alberto Del Rio, who was going to be his opponent later tonight. They actually had a pretty good match, um, I think. And no one really got uh, lost the match, which uh, is be which is good because uh, Del Rio had the big match with John Cena coming up, and I think Del Rio needs to look as strong as he can. Like to 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 go win the match with John Cena, and uh, they did show some John Cena stuff like his heart and desire, his road to recovery, um, and people saying that he is coming back too early. And is he? He was supposed to be gone like four months, but um, the only thing I'm, reason I'm happy about him coming back is uh, I was afraid what was gonna happen. He was he was gonna he was kind of gonna op come in the Wharton Bryan feud and overshadow them, but. I'm glad they're going to do the World Championship feud, uh, and, and and it's good for the World Championship, because the World Champions kind of found like a mid-card championship to me, so it's good that they're keeping John Cena out of this, out of uh, the Miz, John, out of the uh, orton Bryan feud, so at least they're still getting that feud. <clears throat> and, uh, but yeah, uh, the Orton came on the screen, the reason why no one, well, Dario won by count out, but Daniel, but Daniel Bryan had to go save Brie Bella, because, uh, Orton was gonna go do weird things to her, but Orton ambushed him from behind and threw him like in this metal thing. I don't know, um, but it was it was cool actually. I didn't mind that. Um, and it got into Brian's head because uh, she was in the trainers room because she had Tamina Snuka had beat her in a match and she just got destroyed by both AJ Lee and Tamina Snuka because uh, we, Nikki Bella wasn't allowed to go out there um, to be a, at ringside. Then um. Wait, and then uh, I'm going to talk about the WWE Tag Team Championship match. That was a really good match. Uh, Triple H made an no disqualification match, and uh, it actually ended up being a, being a pretty good match, actually. Um, uh, at first, I'm like, this this just seems like it's just a typical tag match, but then the match kind of kept going, and it was good. Dean Ambrose tried... They tried to do the three on two, one on Cody Walls. Tried to do the triple power one, but Goldust came in with a chair, and uh, Goldust uh, started to fight back with atomic drops. Cody Rhodes got power bombed into the uh, barricade. Um, Roman Reigns speared Goldust through the uh, timekeeper's area, and also um, Cody Rhodes actually. Uh, I'm um, trying to think. Oh, and Dean Am Yep, but uh, Big Show ended up coming out though, and um, knocked out all the members of the Shield, and he knocked out Roman Reigns, and uh, Cody Rhodes and Goldust won the WWE Tag Team Championships. I'm kind of happy about that because uh, Goldust and Cody Rhodes are a good tag team, and um, people were actually kind of mad that they beat Luke Harper and uh, Eric Rowan of the Wyatt family, but it makes sense because uh. One, if they didn't get if, what what reason would they have? They lost like to if they lost to um Eric Rowan and Luke Harper. Why should they get this match? And um, I like the fact that uh this is kind of like a real tag team because they're both brothers, and um, I think they deserve to get a run with the belts. And Cody Rhodes isn't being jobbed out anymore. And this is going to be different for the tag team division because maybe a Hell in a Cell they'll do a triple threat WWE tag team championship match between Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns versus the champions Cody Rhodes and Goldust versus the Usos since they were the right four number one contenders and that and uh, that can be a nice shake in the tag team division. Um, and um, it makes the Big Show storyline even more cool because Triple H came out and he was pissed that he did that. And I think maybe at Survivor Series, Big Show will get rehired, and it's going to be Big Show versus Triple H at Survivor Series. Or maybe they'll do a traditional Survivor Series match where it's Team Triple H versus Team Big Show. Of course, Triple H and Big Show will still be in the match, but maybe they'll do something like that. But yeah, this was a pretty good uh, Raw this week. Um, not much complaints. The only complaints were the Fandango match and the Lost Man of Doors match, because I'm sick of seeing them face 3MB. But uh, other than that... um. Even the even the tons of funk match was good. Um, it was good because um, 
it was uh something different for the it was uh it it actually was kind of like a tag team match. It wasn't like one of those dance matches that they have. So uh but that's pretty much it for Raw this week. Um I'm looking forward to seeing what, what Cody, Cody Rhodes and Goldust are gonna do with those WWE tag team championships and who what feuds they have in store for them. But we'll see um in the upcoming weeks. Um uh, maybe like the Real Americans, but let's see, um but that's pretty much it guys. See you later.